Yo, this is a ton of plays. Pokemon X, and here we go. We have defeated Malva of the Elite Four. We have defeated Seabold of the Elite Four. We have defeated Vikstrom of the Elite Four, and we also defeated Drazna of the Elite Four. That means the only one left to challenge in the Pokemon League is, of course, the Pokemon League champion herself. So once you're ready, enter the main room straight ahead to go one on one with the Pokemon League champion of the Kalos region. Here we have the Radiant Chamber, so just go forward and step onto the platform. Now, before you go, make sure your Pokemon are fully healed and ready to go. I would suggest to have something that can counter either a Fighting type or a Flying type for the main Pokemon. So I'll be using Delphox here. That's my main Pokemon for the first battle. So once you're ready, go ahead and enter this glorified platform. So we'll be ascending upwards. We'll be entering the main chamber. And right in front of you stands the Pokemon League champion. We have seen her before. Not that much though. I wish we were seeing a bit more. But this is the Pokemon League champion. It is Diantha. Welcome at last, dear trainer. As you must know, I am the champion, Diantha. Oh, but you are? You're the child of Pokemon Luminous City and Kumarin City, aren't you? That means then you also are the one that Dear Augustine said. Of course! How could I? Oh, I almost look like such a fool and I recognize you sooner. You and your Pokemon are the ones who stopped Team Flare for us all. It seems wrong to me to say this, but thank you. You save us all. I can't wait to see what you and your Pokemon are capable of, now that I know exactly what it is you have done already. And here we go. It is Champion Battle! Diantha, the champion of the Pokemon League. Here we go. So Diantha has six Pokemon. They're all between level 64 and 68. With her final Pokemon also having a Mega Stone. So be ready for this epic battle. And our first one will be Hollow Hence why you should have something to counter a fighting or a flying type. That's I think where Delphox is great. Mainly because Holucha has two counter abilities against Pokemon that are strong against it, such as Exizzer for Bug type and Poison Jab for Poison type. Now, sure, Exizzer will be doing great against a psychic type like Delphox, but Delphox is also a fire type, which means it will be resisting the bug as well, meaning the Exizzer will do more, more damage. So for this first one, we'll start with Psychic. Get the first hit as well. On to Holucha. And that's a one-hit KO, Holucha cannot survive the Psychic. Nice start here, one down, five more to go against the champion, Diantha. As Tired Drum is level 68, and wants to learn a more powerful Rock Slide. One of the best rock moves in my opinion. Because it's not the best though, the power is okay. But because we have the Head Smash, even though it's a heavy recoil, I'd rather stick with Head Smash. So I'm not gonna go with Rock Slide. I'm just gonna keep the rest we have to have a bit of a fair ride setup for Tyrant Trump. And speaking of Tyrant Trump, that will be Diantha's next Pokemon. So you have different ways of how we can go against this one. If you have a Ice type, go ahead and use that, but be careful. He has all physical powerful attacks uh, the Tyrant Trump has, so you wanna be really careful when fighting him. Now he's a Rock and Dragon type, so Dragon. He's going good, but also remember that Dragon will also do good against himself. In my opinion, I would probably go with Lucario here. Simply because Tyrantrum is a rock type, that means he will be taking a lot of damage. Also, Lucario Steel type is resistant to some of his moves. Let's start off first with Lucario. But be careful though, Tyrantrum do no Earthquake. That's super effective against Lucario. In the Lucario versus the Tyrantrum. this one I'll actually Mega Vol, just to be sure. And I'll go with close combat to go all out powerful attack on the time jump of the Anthem. So we 
Mega Ball. Oh, Lucario. Really need it. Here we go. Lucario. We'll Mega Ball into Mega Lucario. Now we'll see some power in the moves. Goes close combat. How much will it do? Will it be enough to kill it? It will. That's a one-hit KO on the Tyrant Trump. A critical hit as well. Awesome. That's a mighty power there. Tyrant Trump goes down in one hit. Great start. Alright, who's next? It's gonna be Gudra. Okay, Gudra is a pure dragon type with very heavy special defense. So a pure dragon means it can only be too effective against the dragon type. Or of course, you can really take some damage as well fighting against ice. Or a fairy type even, that will be even as good. So for this one versus Gudra, I will go with Xerxes. Because fairy is the ultimate dragon killer. So out with uh, Mega Lucario in with the legendary Pokemon Xerneas versus Gudra. Third Pokemon from the Alpha. The Fairy Aura comes out to just to deal more fairy damage. That's what we want, of course, so let's go with the Moonblast. Charging out the Moonblast right in Gudra's face in its hit. But Gudra will survive though. Here comes the Fire Blast, but we'll miss! Fire Blast misses, and that means the next turn comes out for us. Let's go with another Moon Blast. But Dianta do have full restores. Not only does she have one, she has three full restores in total. So we need a critical hit, or we just need to outlast the full restores to beat this one. But the special attack goes down, which means Gudra will be much less dangerous to attack. So that's good. Another full restore from Dianta. Dianta will have one more to use. So just keep pummeling down the Gudra when the Moonblast comes out. Still there in the yellow zone. The Alpha. Nope, not gonna go with another full restore, probably saving that. Moonblast hits and the Gudra goes down. And it's we're halfway through against the Alpha. We have three more Pokemon to fight to become the Pokemon League champion. Talonflame is level 66. And next up is Aurorus. Aurorus is dual type rock and ice. That means it has a four time weakness to fighting. And Mega Evolution will last the whole battle, not just when you're in there and go out again. So we can get out Mega Lucario again. Take on the Aurorus. There's the Aurorus. Rock and ice. Dual type. Which means it has a four time weakness to fighting. Let's exploit that with an Aura Sphere onto the Aurorus. Charge up, and that's a one-hit KO. Four times weakness is too much for Aurorus to take out. That means we're down with two more Pokemon left for the other. The first one of those two will be Gorgeist. Gorgeist, dual type, Ghost, and Grass. So the one I'll be using to fight this one, I'm gonna go with Talonflame. Remember that Gorgeist has three powerful Ghost moves and a, and a Grass move. So if you do have a normal type Pokemon, this means that the Gorgeist can only be using Seed Bomb. So here we have the Gorgeist. I'm gonna go with the Brave Bird. Let's go all out power here with Talonflame. So here comes the Brave Bird. There's a recoil, heavy hit. In its face, one hit KO on the Gorgeist as well. Gorgeist will go down. We'll take some recoil damage from that one. That's fine. And then we have one Pokemon left. And this Pokemon is Gardevoir. And Gardevoir does have a Gardevoir right, which means it will Mega Evolve into a very mighty Mega Gardevoir. Now, how to count this though? Gardevoir has a Fairy type now added, so it's a Psychic and Fairy type. So Delphox is actually not that bad because Delphox resists Fairy and Psychic, but it's weak against the Ghost Shadow Ball that it has. So for this one I actually recommend using Lucario. Lucario, even though it's a fighting type, it's also steel, which means it resists the psychic. Because it's a steel type, it also resists the fairy that is weak from the fighting type. Let's go with Gardevoir versus Lucario. Let's have Mega Battle versus Mega Battle, because Gardevoir will Mega Ball. And the thing I can use here, uh, but don't use a fighting move against it, because Gardevoir has a 4 time resistance to fighting. Do very little damage. 
but it is a fair type and fairies are weak to poison. Let's go poison jam. Gardevoir will mega wolf to mega Gardevoir. Here we have it. Mega Gardevoir. Gardevoir will get first hit with poison jab. Oh my god, that's a super effective one hit KO. I thought Gardevoir maybe will survive that, but no. Absolutely not. Mega Gardevoir goes down, and this battle is over. Witnessing the noble spirits of you and your Pokémon in battle has really touched my heart. Wow. That was quick. There we go. I'm so shocked that I hardly know what I could say, but I... I... I'm just so glad that this moment, I was good enough to be the champion. After all, you gave me the chance to meet and battle with you and your wonderful Pokémon. Now I understand why dear Augustine, uh, Professor Sycamore, said he needed to get Luminous City ready for a new champion. But before I take you there, my dear Sitano, would you mind coming this way with me? And of course you know what this means. It's time for us to enter the very valuable Hall of Fame. Of course we have to save a game, because this is basically where the game registered that now you're entering the post end game, which we'll be doing in the next episode. Here we are. I'm so glad to welcome you in. This grand chamber is where you enter the Kalos Region's Hall of Fame. This is where Pokemon trainers will live on forever, remembered always for giving their all in to battle to the Pokemon League, and for the glory and light that they share with all. Yep, the Hall of Fame. Come, Sitano. You love for your Pokémon, and the way that those Pokémon gave everything they had in battle for you. We'll record them all right here for eternity. So we place the Pokéballs up there. And they're saved with us. And with that, we have entered the first time in this game playthrough at least. The Hall of Fame. First, of course, Del Fox, our starter Pokémon, level 67. Last toys of starter we got from Luminous City, level 65. The next legendary Pokémon, level 65. We have, of course, Lucario, which we got from um, from uh, yeah, I can't remember her name. In Town Flame, we have we got Tyrant Trum as well, and that is our setup. So it is a bit of a powerful setup, very mixed setup. And you can see our Pokemon is surrounding us. This is our team that we used to become Pokemon League champion. All of them Pokemon have been very good, even though maybe Talonflame is probably the least we used of these ones, but still, a very powerful team indeed. Congratulations on becoming Pokemon League champion! And that, we will have the post -end game credits. So now we're gathered up in Luminous City to congratulate us to becoming the new Pokemon League champion. Here we have, here we have us. We have Trevor and the our friends behind there, Sycamore and uh, his assistants. Here we have Tierno, Trevor, me, Shauna, and Serena. Of course, you, the boy and the girl will be switching sides. If you're playing Serena, Serena will be in the middle, and the boy will be on the side. What an amazing turnout! All these people are here to celebrate your achievements. I'd like to present you with the honor of Kalos for the bravery you showed the battling Team Flare. I'm so proud of you all. On behalf of the entire Kalos region, I would like to say thank you. Pretty cool. And here we have Az, or AZ. A very old man. I don't know how he lived that long, but... Battle with me. Yep, you thought it was over? Nope. For the first time ever, after beating the champion, I'm gonna go right into another battle. I want to know 
what a trainer is. And that's right, for the first time ever in Pokemon history, you'll have to have another battle after beating the champion. That's right. Here we go, post endgame battle with Pokemon Trainer AZ. Let's hear the music here. This is the Pokemon Gym Leader music is played. This is one is not over yet. We have the battle. And we have no way to set up our team. We have to battle with what we have. So first this Pokemon will be Torkoal. We don't have three Pokemon though, but we have to battle regardless though. Level 60 Torkoal. Torkoal of course being a pure fire type, so we have to use something else than a fire move. Let's go Psychic. Stone Edge. Powerful rock move. Super effective damage against Del Fox. So far doing fine, let's do another Psychic. That should be enough for Torkoal. Hits, and Torkoal will go down. Lex be even narrow, this was more of a... Uh, Specific Pokemon battle. Next up is Golurk. Golurk is ground and ghost. So if you use one of something that's good against ghost or ground, be your guest. Just don't use Delphox. He's weak to ground. Blastoise is good here. Um, yeah. Probably, probably Blastoise is probably the best one to use in here. This one, like what I have was said. Uh, Golurk is weak to water as a ground type. Let's get in Blastoise versus Golurk. Golurk, dual type. Ground and Ghost. So, you know what? Let's Mega Evolve um, Last Toys here. Let's go with the Waterfall. Usually, Ghost types are really weak defensive ways. So let's go with Waterfall. Here we have him Mega Blast Toys with three cannons one in each arm and the main fat cannon on the back. Here comes the Waterfall from Blast Toys. That one's gonna hurt. It's a one hit KO on the Golurk. Nice. With that, we have one more Pokemon to fight. It's going to be Sigilyph. Sigilyph is a Psychic and a Flying dual type. So if you have any uh, thing to counter that, for example, Dark type, then we'll do well. And I think I'm just going to stick with Blastoise here because we already Mega Volt him. Level 60 as well. We'll go with let's go with a Surf. Surf on the Sigilyph. Pretty good, but not enough. So live with survive comes the psychic. So live on to the Mega Blast Toys, which is moderate. Let's finish him off with strength. Charge it up. And its face. Shiji Lift will go down. And we beat AZ. Even though it was no experience, it was just a battle for show off. We beat AZ on our Pokemon League celebration. Of course, this game do have happy endings. Thank you very much for battling me. Now I finally feel free. Free from the part of me mirrored in sorrow. The part of me that built the ultimate weapon. And then, his dreams have come true. The Pokemon he had been waiting for, for literally hundreds of years has come back to him. That's right. Little Floet is back to his companion. His Pokemon was waiting all this time. Waiting for him to return to the man he was. The man who loved Pokemon with all his heart. That's so nice. And a happy ending. Our Pokemon League victory. See, cool fletchling flying above, and the 
dawn of a new day. Not 72 hours remaining though, but yeah. And we get the credits. Damn, Masuda, he has done so much for the Pokemon gaming. He's been part of the music as well for the, a lot of the games, but he has done so much for Pokemon in general. It's, uh, it's really cool. So that's basically Pokemon X. Well, not done though, of course. Because in all Pokemon games, even though it's been a bit up and down in some games, and I do think that this game does have a bit of a weak post-game game, so the post-game game won't be lasting that many episodes before we had jump on to our next Pokemon game. Still though, that's basically Pokemon X. It was uh, pretty fun. In the next few episodes, we're gonna go through the uh, post-end game for uh, Pokemon X. We're gonna go travel to, we're gonna get some new Pokemon to capture. So we're gonna get right away. Also, we're going to um, we're gonna get a uh, trip to a new town called Kilod City. We will have the Battle Mansion and the Friend Safari. So those who really want to trade Pokemon and get all the Pokemon you can get, we just your Pokedex. Then the Friend Safari is there. And we need to have your friend code, and you need to, and you also have a random uh, what type of Pokemon you'll have in your Friend Safari. We're we'll traveling a bit to the Luminous City just to check out some new stuff. Check out of course Kilod City. We also will be testing out some new stuff. Maybe take a trip as well to the Battle Mansion or Maison at uh, is it right? six or seven. I can't remember the one that's uh, one we were before. That place is a good way to go, you know, play a bit. We can also go to back to Endstar City where we can now uh, finally get some Mega Stones. Then we also have a little uh, side quest in Luminous City with a special detective called Looker. Yeah, Looker has some cool stuff. We're gonna maybe gonna go and check a bit, of course, for that. And after done the side quest, then we're also going to be going for some legendary Pokemon. That's for sure because there's some legendary Pokemon to capture, especially one very huge one. And there's also legendary Pokemon that you can capture in this game uh, from other regions. Some of them are based upon what uh, starter you chose and other cool stuff. Then we'll maybe also have the unknown dungeon at the Pokemon Village that was guarded by someone. That'll be open now. And of course we have the Terminus Cave that we went past that really has nothing to, to go there back then. But we'll be have something to go there now. And I think my Pokemon X Let's Play will end at the Terminus Cave. We're gonna fight off a very specific Pokemon and capture that one. So there's still gonna be some episodes that I don't know how many, maybe seven or eight episodes, maybe. We'll see. But anyways, that's gonna be end for this episode. Let the credits roll. So next time we're gonna start off with the Pokemon X Endgame. Or well, not now, not the Endgame, but the Post Endgame. That's more correct. The Endgame we already are in, but there's still some more stuff to do, some more Pokemon to capture, and some side quests to go through before we call Pokemon X uh, done. Go for. So stay tuned, guys. Next episode, the post end game for Pokemon X. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's gonna be it for now. See you guys next time as my journey of Pokemon X continues. And till then, enjoy the credits. And I'll see you next time.